Yesterday, Ken Wingard showed us how to turn an ordinary armoire into a creative center to store our sewing supplies. So today, Ken's going to show us how to organize everything inside of it and uh, remind us what our goals are, Ken. The goals are to have a place in our home where you can keep all, whether it's your crafting or your needlepoint, your scrapbook, and your sewing supplies. So you're not having to drag it out of the basement, out of different drawers, but you can close it up and put it away when you're done without spinning. I remember when you first brought this project and, I, and you told me and I went, so? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. I know. Show us what we want. Yeah, you, I had you there for a while. You did. You did. Me too. Where's he going? Um, uh, recap for us. Let's what see we, where we've <laughs> been. So, um, this is my inspiration piece that I couldn't afford. So, I got that one on Craigslist for about 100 bucks. And all I did was measure the height of that bottom shelf, cut some legs to be that height, put on a crossbar, and then on a desktop, I bought a piece of plywood. I put a piano hinge on one end, and then I attached a piano hinge to the other with the help of the one and only Mark Steinus. Mm. And voila, we have our up and down. That's awesome. fantastic. That is awesome. So, Big so Mike, you're right. It is. Yeah, super, super. Our easy camera and super guys fun. are really impressed. They are yeah. into it. They are All into right. it. All right. So from here on, we also um, remember, we, Mark, you drilled that great yep. hole for us. So we have our power strip, which I just put up with there with some double stick tape. Mm -hmm. So for iron sewing boards, you're not having to do the And that was right. a great job you did too, Mark. Well, that's right. I used the paddle bit and it yeah. went in lickety split. Okay. Boom. Right. Yeah. yeah. So let's go ahead with tricking out the rest of it or zhuzhing it, as Mark would say. First of all, we're going to deal with this non painted back that we have here mm -hmm. and what I've got here is just a piece of um, poster board um, I'm sorry foam core board cut to the size and what I did was I got um, cork which you can get at the craft store in sheets I spray glued that to one side and then I spray glued some coordinating fabric on top and mm -hmm. what that has done has created this inspiration board, basically a bulletin board that you can right. use for your patterns, for your clippings. Oh, nice. A little bit of um, Velcro on the back, and that. Look at there. It's oh. gonna fit right in the back. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness. Now, I, I'm gonna give you props for that right now. Oh, that's why thank you, madam. Why thank you. That's really fantastic. <laughs> Again, wow. I say so. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Right over there. All right. So next, um, if you notice here, I put up these little brackets. And what these are is from a plastic water bottle. I took the lid right here. And all I did with a little piece of pair of scissors is I just cut out a little notch to the top. And what that's going to be is now I just have a dowel with my rickrack, ribbons, all of that. And that is going to hang. Oh, for heaven's sake. That's I fantastic. I can get it and slip it in here. That hangs right there. Okay. okay. Ready to go. Okay. So moving on to our doors, you, you want to, with this, you could write, could be a great gift wrapping thing. Oh my goodness. Have your tall. Yeah. So you want to use all of the space that you have. So let's talk about the doors uh -huh. here. What I've done is I just put a simple mm -hmm. screw hook here and that's going to hold my cutting mat. You could also, if you are different types of rulers, you could hang there. The part I love is here. These are just two magnetic knife racks that you got. I got these at Bed Bath & Beyond. Make sure they fit your door. Mm -hmm. And for the upper one, it's a great place to store your oh my empty God. bobbins so that they're ready to go. And weird things like your odd size Needle. crochet yeah. needles and things like mm -hmm. that. And for the bottom one, you can put your sewing scissors so that they will not be used to open plastic. Oh, right, right. <laughs> which you do, or, I'm sure. Or cut crab legs. Or cut crab uh, legs, right. Is that what you so, do? I never said that. I never <laughs> said that. One could, one could. Yes. So there, you've got I'm this there. side all done. So let's talk about the inside. And This really is going to change depending upon what kind of armoire you're using. Mm -hmm. But you need space to put stuff, all the little stuff, because having that loose is going to drive you crazy. So just find ever what you have and, and find little containers to put your bits and bobs. Bits and bobs Bits and, and bobs, this and that. This and that, mm. and notions and potions. Notions and pens, <laughs> right. Because you really want to just keep, you know, and this also has the drawers underneath, which would be a great place to keep your fabric, et cetera. So um, the last thing that we're dealing with is our thread. Right. Mm. So what I did was I created little thread, holes, thread spool holders. I did this earlier. We have a mm -hmm. clip. So all I did was get some plaques. These are actually left over from the Scrabble set we made. Um, you can get these at any craft store. And I just measured so I had a nice grid of spots on there. And then I just went through with a three inch nail, put the nails in about half an inch, three quarters of an inch or so, nice and even, and then tapped them all down 
with the edge of the hammer. You Why are you doing that? It with your hands. So, patience, patience. Voila, voila, so that we'll they will reveal. hold your spools. If they're straight across, they might fall off, and you also mm. don't see the color. Okay, Mark. <laughs> stop it. So okay. I've got these. If you want to, these right here. And another little tip. Um, what I did, if you can get a good shot of this here, I also added a magnetic strip mm -hmm. underneath each row. So if you're a type A sort of sew person, which I'm not, but many people are, you can actually have your color coordinated bobbin right under your oh, spool that would be of me. thread that so would that you don't have to search. Yeah. And these we're just going to put that on. Put right here. How did you put them on? What's on the back? All oh, I'm this. using is what? double stick foam tape you don't need to you know these are not heavy I put three strips of it because I do want it to um, stick to stick, stick but you don't need to any nice kind of picture hanging hardware when he does this you just thread it on like that is that another and is that another he's like he's trying, he is trying he is reaching me. this by the way um, just for our this. viewers at this home I mean, as you get to this point and I look at you know, finish that out voila Come on, let's, right, let's I know. hear it. Come on. If the camera yeah, guys could you. clap, you would, right? <laughs> this, is a, this is a little bit longer project than right. the normal what we can fit in a six-minute segment. But I have to say, this is well worth it. And there's yeah. really not much you did here other than, you know, even a power drill was the paint that. And maybe we'll cut the, your base. So it's right. really not difficult. Not this difficult. This is amazing. Not.